Well, this is a really good one. I like this uh, question from Charles. Uh, I got a, I got a new computer here, and I'm not getting. I'm I'm doing a terrible job with the keypad. Uh, what is the the best or easiest POTA intended to get contacts on 60 meters, 80 meters, and the upper bands to try to get the N1CC10 bands? I find the lower bands the most difficult. Yeah. What? Okay, so. Um, I haven't quite got the N1CC yet. I've been, I, I think I've got, I got two more parks and I'm just saving those two. I want two particular parks on that, on that certificate. So I've just been kind of holding off until I get to those parks to finish it up. But um, what I, if I, if I'm coming into a park to camp for the weekend and I want to work 10 bands, the number one antenna I'm going to put up is a 71 foot N fed random wire antenna because that antenna, 71 feet, with a nine to one matching unit or a transformer at its at the feed point with a tuner you can work 10 through 80 meters all of those bands and uh, that would probably be the easiest um I, I think that would be the easiest method to get 10 bands and that's that's what i do and then and then what i do is we carry two um two meter handhelds and then between Chris and I, we get two meters and four and seventy centimeters <laughs> for the last for the last two bands. Right, right. <laughs> One sixty is going to be um, it's nearly impossible for Poda. Uh, yeah, sixty meters is so it, you know it's so hard to do sixty meters in anything that's cut for any other band. You know, mm -hmm. It's just a, it's an odd harmonic, um, but you don't need sixty meters for N one mm or N one N one cc. Yeah, N one cc. You don't, you don't, um, if you go, if you go 80, 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, two meters and 70 centimeters, you got your 10 bands right there. And then you can, so you, and don't, then if, you don't get yeah. six meters on that. You don't need, well, if, if, if that's your strategy, you don't need six meters, okay. but if you don't have somebody, if you don't have somebody to do the two meter and, and 70 centimeters with, then. Or you got got a you're able to eke out a two meter contact and not a seventy centimeter. You know maybe then you keep mm -hmm. six meters in your back pocket or sixty meters in your back pocket at that rate. Right. Um, what I right. what the only time I've ever gotten contacts on sixty meters is when I've 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 done a schedule with Travis. So right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's um yeah that's that's about it. Um, yeah, Flatlander says yeah, one hundred sixty is doable. FT8, mm -hmm. it is it it, um, and actually those lower bands, 80 meters, almost certainly I'm uh, I'm I'm getting that contact uh, digital FT8. Mm -hmm. um, Scout says yeah, 101.25 meters can be done in the park too. Absolutely, if you got if you got a buddy and <laughs> right right if, and a 220 if radio people actually out there waiting for you. Hey, 10 gigs is doable as well if you got some people set yeah. up for it. Yep. So we got uh, Brent says um, he's got the N1CC or he's he's done N1CC. Google the W0BNC coil, and he uses that with my 17 foot whip. And there we go. Um, that's the. It's just it's similar to a Wolf River coil, mm -hmm. so same. Yeah, the same. Silver Bullet 1000 would be yep. about the top one there. Yep. Yep, it's just a little bit different construction, it looks like. But um, yeah, so that's uh, that is certainly oh, and he, an and option. He's doing a center load or center load on that instead of a bottom load. Yep. Right. If he's, if he's, so he's doing it a little bit different than how the um, how Wolf River does it. On Wolf River coils, usually the coil is at the bottom. It's at He's the bottom it in the center, and that changes the pattern a little bit. Yes, it does. So um, now, if you were able to get some sort of like tube with three eighths by sixteen thread on both ends, you could raise up a coil, and then mm -hmm. center load that, and then that would change that pattern a little bit. Some say that's better for Poda. But I think with a 17 foot whip on it, that is it's kind of a tall order. You, yeah, you're gonna have to order. look at you're gonna have to look at guying it, of course. So mm -hmm. yeah. But um 
And yep, Brent that's... says he clips a 75 foot wire to his coil <laughs> to make that. <laughs> that's yeah, that's a lot of wire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Dave says uh, 40 to 10 in fed half wave loads up surprising if you. Uh, the, the the wire itself. Now, if you unclip the wire from the transformer from a 40 meter infit half wave, you can load it on 80 and 160 meters for digital contacts. So okay. <laughs> so a lot of options there. Uh, you can have uh, using a you know the vertical uh, silver bullet 1000 or the that W0 B and C coil or something like mm -hmm. that or my, like I said, my favorite is the uh, NFED random wire, um, but those, yeah, that's, that's, that NFED random wire has been my go-to for working all 10 bands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have the real estate to get something up while doing POTA, then the more wire the be is the better. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely. Bands. Absolutely. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.